Hi, um, so this is part five to show you what happens when I've done the, the renders and then how I use the digital methods, the pen work over the 3D graphics. Okay, so here's very cheaply printed out on cheap paper. This one, that's the Habitat 67 one, and that's the, um, the Buckminster Fuller Biodome, and they're both in Montreal. And um, I did lo what I do usually do is get a whole sketchbook and I do loads of work on a pen, just usually like this. That's um, Luma color. And, uh, and as, as you'll see, I put it, the tracing paper over the, the top of the, the drawing, like that. Line it up. I can't, it's not quite lined up there. And, and as I draw, I just draw over the thing, nice loose lines. Um, it's not just tracing the underlayer exactly, it's like the underlayer is a guide and this is um, quite a lot of abstract shapes and the black squares here are, you know, emerging and it's like working on a, you know, an aesthetic for the drawing. So that's the Habitat 67 one. And then I did the, the, what am I saying? <laughs> the, the, it's late today, it's uh, 20, it's 11 o'clock. So that's my excuse. So here's the print for the Buckminster Fuller Biodome. And that's the one overlay I actually liked. I didn't like any others. So this has got quite loose lines here. It's a cool thing happening here. And as you can see, it doesn't have the dome. So. What's going to happen with that? I'm going to add the dome either in um, Krita and use the, um, the the actual photo, an actual photo of the dome as a reference, and just you know make the lines in Krita. Or I might do the same thing with a piece of tracing paper and a photograph again. So that should be interesting. Getting that all contrasting. I don't, as I say, I don't want the dome to <clears throat> take away from this. So that's going to be quite an interesting little exercise there when I get it into into the digital so when I get the traditional drawings into the digital world and how I do that I mean you can either use a scanner but you know you're not always going to have your scanner if you're somewhere else or you know you can't always take it around with you I'm quite into sort of mobile working both with sculpture and um, flat art um, so I've got this old my old d60 camera it's great um, and I usually just take the picture, you know, from the top and click and um, make sure the flash is off, obviously, because <coughs> tracing paper is shiny and you, when you want the photograph, you don't want any shine because it will take away from the black and you want to take the photograph on a white background without the original image, a bit like this. So it's got a lot of contrast, so when you take it into the program right Kreiter it should eradicate all the white without having you having to edit the white away um, so that's basically all now I mean um, if you're trying this method with the tracing paper and tracing it's not as I say it's not a, like a direct copy of the of the work it's like very loose artistic artistic expression and um, I hope you remember that so don't do very tight lines do quite loose lines and um, um, have, have a have a blast and make your 3D graphics and then print them out. Just simply draw, then take them back in. So the next the next um, screencast, we're going to take these drawings in. I've photographed them, and uh, I'll take them into the software Krita. So we're moving on from Blender now to the free Krita software. So it should be should be interesting. And um, be sure to tune in. Um, we'll go to that lesson now. Okay, um, thanks very much and I'll speak later.